Okay, this is just an example of how to measure the synchronizer, which is this guy, the bra what we all call as a brass ring. This is the gear. These are the synchronizing teeth on the gear. This is the synchronizer. This is the synchronizing hub. But the, the gear is rotating free to the shaft. Only when you engage synchronizer to the shaft does the shaft does the gear lock to the shaft. Now, how you measure worn synchros, which would be responsible for like grated gears and rough engagement, is you see this clearance here. You have to measure that clearance, but how you measure it is you rotate the gear a little bit and you apply force this way with the synchronizing hub, like this. To engage the synchro, you see how it stops, see how it stops turning, look, see it's free, I'm going to push on, and you see it's it's kind of grabbed it, then you take a feeler gauge, and I've already checked this one, this is a 22, so a 20, so, and a 9, so, which if my math is good, has 51, so, together, 51, so, push it again, see it loose, get tight, and I put it in this space here, check again, see, that's the clearance that I'm measuring there. And now let's go to the manual. The manual talks about the standard clearance being 39,000 to 55,000 and a service limit of 19,000. Well, right now we are 51,000. That's 19 plus 20 plus 22. So that is how it goes there. That is, now that is the clearance. Now what you have to do is inspect the condition of these little teeth here. Make sure you see how they look like nice, like a cathedral. So when they, you start to grate the gears, you get a ramp and it gets worn and eventually the gear just ejects itself. That's one half of it. The next half of it is inside here. You see these little teeth here? These little teeth have the equivalent cathedrals on them that will then engage when you rotate. So right now the gear is locked to the shaft. Right now, the gear is not locked to the shaft. So when you talk about changing gears, all you're doing is actually locking ratios. Okay? In this case, this is fourth gear, third gear, second gear, first gear, and this is the gear that they'll give you for the reverse on the output shaft.